Hello students, uh, today we are going to see about the section analysis of variance. Uh, this is uh, in the previous section we have discussed how to estimate the uh, population means and the sample means. Okay, And in that uh, section we have used t-test to test the significance difference between the samples means. Okay, Two sample means. Now in this one we may come across more than two samples. We may come across more than two samples at a time and we can analyze that whether that all the samples are come from a same population. Right. So using to test this one we are going to use the analysis of variance. Analysis of variance is introduced by a mathematician if, uh, that is Fisher. Okay. Mathematician name is Fisher. Uh, in this method, uh, we will the total variation is uh, split into two variations. One is uh, variation between classes, and another one is variation within classes. Okay. Now uh, we have already seen about the how to solve the one-way classification model, and now we are move on to uh, how to solve the two-way classification model problems. So here the two-way classification model uh, you can refer in your uh, book page number uh, 1019. In a two-way classification the data are classified according to two different criteria or factors. Okay so when we are having uh, two different criteria or factors you have to, you have to use the two-way classification model. Right now here we are having the ANOVA table. ANOVA table for the two-way classification. Okay, so the first uh, column for, uh, regarding to source of variation and the uh, second column is sum of uh, squares. Third column is degrees of freedom and the fourth one is mean sum of squares and last column is ratio of F. The first uh, column uh, you are having this values is between samples. Between samples, between rows and the error, you have to calculate these values. Between samples, the sum of squares is denoted as SSC. Okay, the sum of squares between columns. And the corresponding degrees of freedom is C minus 1. And the mean square, okay, mean sum of squares between columns equal to, you can use this formula, SSC divided by C minus 1. Okay, similarly between rows. Between rows you are having this notation SSR. That is sum of squares between rows. And degrees of freedom is R minus 1. So MSR equal to SSR divided by R minus 1. Then SSE, sum of squares uh, due to error. That's equal. Now the degrees of freedom is C minus 1 into R minus 1. Here C is nothing but number of columns. And R is nothing but number of rows. Okay. And this uh, mean sum of squares between uh, due to error is formula is SSE divided by R minus 1 into C minus 1. And finally you have to find out the ratio of F. Ratio of F is nothing but uh, MSC divided by MSE. And another one is MSR divided by MSE. Okay. These values we have to find out in the problem finally. Okay, after find out these problems, uh, you have to use the F distribution table and we have to compare the calculated value and tabulated value uh, regarding to a particular significance uh, values. Okay, level of significance, right? And the final uh, row is represented here is total. The total is represent SST, sum of squares of total. And here the degrees of freedom is n minus 1. Okay, so here the, we are seeing the notations of SSC. Uh, expansions of SSC is nothing but sum of squares between columns. SSR is sum of squares between rows. SSE is sum of squares due to error. And SST equal to total sum of squares. Now here we are having the formula to find out SSE. SSE is nothing but SST. That is sum of squares of total total sum of squares minus sum of these two values SSC plus SSR and final value the F value formula you know already uh, MSC divided by MSE where gamma 1 equal to 
C minus 1 and gamma 2 is C minus 1 into R minus 1. Okay, degrees of freedom. Gamma 1, gamma 2 are degrees of freedom. When you are using a mean square between columns, the degrees of freedom, gamma 1 is C minus 1. Similarly, when you are using the mean square between rows, means gamma 1 value is number of rows minus 1. Gamma 2 is same for both the values. Okay. Now, we see the an example problem, how to solve this two-way classification model. In your book, page number 1020, illustration 7. Now, I just read the problem. Then, I will give the explanation how to solve this problem. A tea company appoints four salesmen A, B, C and D and observes their sales in three seasons, summer, winter and monsoon. The figures in lakhs are given in the following table. So, this is the table they have given. The first column uh, representing seasons. Summer, winter, monsoon. Three seasons. And the next one is salesman. We are having four salesmen A, B, C and D. And corresponding their data are given. And finally, our last column represents seasons total. And the last row represents salesman's total. And the question is here, do the salesmen significantly differ in performance? Is, is there significant difference between the seasons? These are the two questions they asked. Okay. Now in the first step, we have to fix out the uh, null hypothesis. That is the first step. Very first step is, you have to fix the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis is always denoted as H0. You already know this. Okay. The salesmen do not significantly differ in performance. Okay. That is the, the first question they ask. No. Is do the salesmen significantly differ in performance. Okay. According to that only we are setting the null hypothesis here. The salesmen do not significantly differ in performance. That is there is no significant difference. Between the seasons as far as no sales are concerned. Okay. Now here the level of significance is 0 0.05. Now in the given day table, data are classified according to criteria. One is salesman and another one is season. That's why it's come under the two-way classification model. Now step two, we move on to step two. In the step two is nothing but we have to find out the coded form of the given data. So, coded form is nothing but uh, for doing the calculation very easily, we are doing some simplification here. Okay. So, in the given data, all the values are uh, is near to 30. So, we are choose that value 30 and subtract 30 from uh, each data here. Okay. Then, we put a new table here. We are having a new table here. So, subtracting 30 from every data, you will have this new table. Right? Okay, this one. And again, you can find the season's total here. Sum of these values is, okay. And the second row's total is 0. Third row total is this one. Similarly, column wise total also you are having. Right? Okay. Now, here the correction factor is value formula is capital T squared divided by N. Capital T is nothing but here the sum of the Seasons total and uh, this one, columns total, right? Salesman totals. That is 0. So, 0 by 12. N, N capital N is nothing but number of items. Okay, here uh, 3 rows and 4 values is in each row. So, totally you are having 12 items. So, you are having the value is uh, 0 square divided by 12 is 0. Okay, so this is uh, step 2. And again that in step 2, Correction factors we have to find out for salesman wise and season wise we are going to find out the correction factor. Now salesman wise is number of salesmen is 4 and the total value T1, T2, T3, T4 okay that is the column total here the coding uh, in the coding coded form the column total 0, 3, minus 9, 6 okay that is the uh, total T1, T2, T3. T3 and T4 and N1, N2, N3, N4 is each column you are having 3 values. Okay, first column 3 values, second column 3. So, N1 is 3, N2 is 3. Similarly, N3 and N4. 
the correction factor equal to t square divided by n. This is a formula. Okay, now t square is nothing but uh, capital T1 plus capital T2 plus capital T3 plus capital T4. Okay, that is t divided by n. Again here 0 divided by 12, we are having 0. Uh, similarly, season wise, okay, season wise we are uh, finding out the correction factor. Number of season is 3 and T1, T2, T3 only are having here. T1 is nothing but the first row total, T2 is second row total and T3 is third row total. Okay, just you put the values and each row you are having 4 values. So, N1, N2, N3 is 4 here. Right? Okay, season wise. So, correction factor is t squared by n. Again, you substitute the values, as you get again 0. Right? So, this uh, comes in the uh, second step. Okay, once again repeated in step 1 initially, uh, you have to set the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis uh, is based on the question asked. Okay. Okay, right. Then uh, under the same step 1, you have to set the level of significance. And come to, when you come to the say, step 2, you have to find out the coding uh, format of the given data. That's nothing but uh, the number which is nearer to all the values in the given table. You take that, consider that value. This problem, that is 30. Just you subtract all the values, uh, you subtract 30 from all the values in the table. Then this is nothing but to do the calculation in a simplest way. Okay. Then after getting the coding data, you have to find out the correction factor for uh, two criterions, salesmen and seasons. Okay. Now we move on to step 3. Step 3, how to find out, uh, we are going to find out SSC and uh, SSR, then SST. SSE also these values are we are going to find out now. Okay. Uh, so between uh, salesman uh, again the correction uh, this value. Okay. Sales wise sum of squares formula is T1 squared by N1, T2 squared by N2 uh, plus T3 squared by N3 plus T4 squared by N4 minus correction factor. Right. Uh, so, you substitute all the values you know, just you substitute here from the table. Correction factor already previous step 2 you have found, we already found out, right? The correction factor is 0. So, SSC value is this one. Uh, we are getting SSC is 42. Now, degrees of freedom. In the very beginning I have explained the ANOVA table. So, in that one we know uh, SSC regarding degrees of freedom is number of columns minus 1. Here number of columns is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. So, degrees of freedom is 3. Uh, next one between season that is SSR value. So, 3 season. So, T1 squared by N1 plus T2 squared by N2 plus T3 squared by N3 minus correction factor. Just substitute the value. If you are simplifying, you will get 32. Um, degrees of freedom between season means uh, number of rows minus 1. Number of seasons here, okay. So, we get 2. So, SSR value is 32, degrees of freedom is 2, right. Then next we come to total sum of squares, SST value. SST is nothing but here the 6 square and minus 2 square are nothing but each data square values and sum of these squares. Okay, 6 square and minus 2 square and minus 4 square plus 6 square and last minus uh, correction factor. So, 210 minus 0. So, 210 you are having. So, degrees of freedom for uh, SST is number of entries in the table minus 1. Okay, here 12 entries you are having. So, 12 minus 1 is 11. So, SST value is 210 and the corresponding degrees of freedom is 11. Okay, now we move on to find out the SSE. That is sum of squares between due to error. SSE is equal to SST minus of the sum of these two values. SSE plus SSR. Right. So, here 210 minus of 42 plus 32. So, you get the values 136. The corresponding degrees of freedom is C minus 1 into R minus 1. Right. C minus 1 into R minus 1. So, degrees of freedom is 6 here. Now, we are putting uh, all these uh, founded values in the ANOVA table. 
So on our table, uh, you already know the first one is source of variation, sum of squares, next one, degrees of freedom, then mean square we are writing.